have you ever wanted to meet someone from a galaxy far, far away to hang out with? Yeah, such an experience may seem awesome and eerie at the same time. But hey, we've already traveled to space. We've been on the moon, and some robotic landers have even roamed Mars. Yet, no space buddies have ever been identified. So, why haven't we found any evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth? Neither Wikipedia nor internet forums can precisely answer this question, even though there's a lot of speculation concerning this topic. So why not have fun and ask AI the very same question? It gave me a couple of answers. Let's dive in, shall we? First off, we may not have searched enough. We barely scratched the surface of the universe. Experts say that we've only explored only 4% of the apparent space. But what's apparent space after all? Well, this is what astronomers can see. It's made up of exoplanets, stars, and even galaxies. Sure thing we can't observe all the galaxies from our home planet. Just picture it. There are about 100 billion galaxies in the observable universe. Who knows what else is there in places that are just unreachable to us. Especially taking into account the fact that scientists just can't see 96% of the space, which they call the vast space. But why can't they see it? Well, there are two things that can help us answer this question. Dark energy and dark matter. These are pretty complicated things to get, but let me explain them. Dark matter was discovered when scientists were experimenting to measure the velocities of stars located in different places in the galaxy. They found out that the outer stars of the universe were orbiting the center just at the same speed as the ones that were located near the center. I know, it might make little sense to you, but the scientists were left mind-boggled. Thing is, it should normally tear the galaxies apart, but scientists took a closer look at the phenomenon and realized that things worked oppositely. Long story short, at the end of observation, the scientists concluded that there's simply more matter in the universe, and they called it dark matter. As for dark energy, it's way more confusing, and honestly, scientists don't fully realize what it is. According to current estimations, the universe has 73% of dark energy, 23% of dark matter, and a humble 4% of more material things, like planets, solar systems, and sure thing, stars. Seems like we've not searched enough indeed. Plus, radio signals have only been detectable for a century, and we've only been actively hunting for signals from alien civilizations for a few decades. It's possible we haven't examined enough of the galaxy to uncover intelligent life. One more idea AI suggested is that intelligence is rare. Well, can't but agree here. Intelligence is rare even among us humans. Just kidding. <laughs> Jokes aside, straight to the facts. Thing is, the conditions that lead to intelligent life on Earth may be rare and hard to duplicate elsewhere. For instance, Earth is in a stable area of the galaxy, has a massive moon that stabilizes its axial tilt, and has enough water and other resources to support life. Other sentient civilizations may not have developed due to these uncommon circumstances. Astrobiologists are pretty sure that simple life is everywhere in the universe. By simple life, they mean individual cells, or even small organisms made up of several cells. But let's distinguish concepts a little bit. Life is life and intelligence is intelligence. And life can exist without intelligence, while intelligence can't be separate from any life form. But here's the kicker. For any organism to evolve, the right solar energy is needed. Remember how it was on Earth? The simple microorganisms emerged underwater, but it's the sunlight that helped them evolve into something that can make a video like this. But sadly, most planets just don't have the right conditions to make it happen. No, I'm not talking about the internet. It's all about the, the atmosphere, protective magnetic fields, and many more factors that ensure good conditions for life. There's more to this theory of intelligence. Humanity hasn't always been the way it is now. For many centuries, people just would gaze at the stars trying to figure out what they were about. Who knows? Probably some millennia ago there was an intelligent life somewhere not far away. But back then, we just couldn't communicate with them. They probably looked at Earthlings thinking how primitive they were and decided not to contact us at all. And probably they just changed the universe searching for a better life. Who knows? Sorry to break it to you. But if these crazy speculations are true, we're quite unlikely to contact life in other galaxies. There's even a scientific explanation to back it up. Our closest intergalactic neighbor is the Canis Major Dwarf. We may call it a neighbor, but it would take almost 750 million years to get there with the technologies we have today. 
even a super fast radio signal which can move at a speed that's close to the speed of light will need about 25,000 years to get there. Another idea suggested by AI is that intelligent life somewhere out there may exist, but we can't detect it. We assume other civilizations use radio transmissions and other technology like ours to search for extraterrestrial intelligence. It's possible that other civilizations have created communication methods we don't comprehend or can detect. Come on. We aren't done comprehending things here on Earth. Like, there are many ancient Earth languages we haven't deciphered yet. For example, Olmec's writing. They say it's the oldest writing system in the western part of the world, and it was identified when the Cascajo block was discovered in Mexico. The experts believe it was created by quite literate people. They are in 62 glyphs incised on that block. Some of the items seem abstract, while others look like beetles, corn, and even a throne. No one managed to translate what's written there so far. The Olmec writing is one of the many examples of undeciphered writings here on Earth. Hey, and what if our life is like an arcade game? You can go to the next level until you crack all the missions at the level where you are. Another theory is that other civilizations purposely avoid us because they don't want to interfere with our development or because they think we're dangerous or aggressive. In this case, they may be hiding. Well, if other civilizations avoid us, they're not the only ones. Even today, there are tribes on Earth that purposely avoid anything civilization related. You can find such tribes in many places, from the Amazon to the Indian Ocean, but I suggest you stay away from them. There are about 100 uncontacted tribes on the planet, and some of them are said to be extremely dangerous. For example, the Sentinelese people living near the Bay of Bengal. For some unknown reasons, they reject any contact, and any attempts to communicate with them are usually rebuffed. The authorities recommend staying away from that area, since anyone who tries to bother the tribe will surely get in trouble. In some places, authorities do their best to protect uncontacted people. Thus, Colombia is considered to be the country that offers maximum protection to the tribes who live in voluntary isolation. There's a similar situation in Ecuador. There are two groups of people living in the Amazon region. They are semi-nomadic and they do not benefit from modern technologies. These people subside on crops, gatherings, and hunting. Luckily for them, since 2007, there's been a national policy in Ecuador that protects these people's rights. Thus, it's mandatory that they stay untouchable, self-determined, and equal, and their right to no contact whatsoever is respected. Anyway, the absence of intelligent life beyond Earth does not prove its non-existence. As our technology and understanding of the universe advance, we may find evidence of other civilizations. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.